January of this year, the first patient known to have COVID-19 in North America was admitted to a hospital just north of Seattle. In early March, Madigan Army Medical Center admitted its first patient for complications associated with COVID-19. To our knowledge, Madigan was the first CONUS-based installation exposed to COVID-19. In those early days, Seattle was the first metropolitan epicenter for COVID-19 outbreaks in the United States. Madigan staff met the unknowns of the disease and challenges of healthcare delivery posed by this pandemic, as it always does, with rapid innovation. Madigan staff responded early and aggressively with support from Joint Base Lewis McCord, Regional Health Command Pacific, and in coordination with our 1st Corps and 62nd Medical Brigade colleagues, in addition to our Air Force, Navy, and community partners in the Puget Sound region. With Army support and a long-standing relationship with the CDC, Madigan Laboratory rapidly established COVID-19 testing capability by standing up four separate molecular test systems early during the pandemic, testing our first patient on the 2nd of March. Madigan serves as the enterprise's only MHS Genesis high-throughput COVID-19 testing center, testing more than 34,000 Army Navy, Air Force, Marine, and Coast Guard service members and DOD beneficiaries to date. We continue to expand testing capability by adding a fifth test system in the near future to provide even greater access to our patients during the upcoming influenza season. During the COVID-19 pandemic, access for care underwent a massive shift to a mostly virtual online healthcare platform with face-to-face -face appointments reserved for urgent and emergent care. In addition, we leveraged the MHS Genesis patient portal, allowing a secure messaging environment to facilitate exchange of patient information, photos and videos, facilitating excellent patient care and patient education. Additionally, we leveraged our existing telecritical care infrastructure for a novel application allowing remote patient-informed consent for clinical research trials, as well as facilitating patients and families visiting. Madigan has also been a leader in a collaborative research effort to create a national emergency telecritical care network to project our telecritical care assets forward for pandemic response. Bed capacity was rapidly expanded in order to accommodate the anticipated influx of COVID-19 infected patients thanks to the availability of excess beds at Naval Clinic Oak Harbor. Pharmacy operations were totally revamped by changing to drive-through only medication delivery. A large-scale drive-through testing facility was quickly established on the facility campus. In close concert with local county and state public health partners, Madigan Preventive Medicine rapidly implemented contact tracing to provide immediate response to COVID cases and prevent onward spread of the virus. Madigan Preventive Medicine, the Army's only preventive medicine teaching program, provided extensive public health support and consultation to senior warfighter and garrison leaders at JBLM helping to navigate unprecedented challenges. This consultation was pivotal in successful implementation of unit and base-wide coronavirus lockdown and subsequent reopening efforts by implementing preventive measures while simultaneously enabling readiness and operational missions. Madigan's role in this pandemic was not limited to providing the highest quality care evidence-based at JBLM. Our highly skilled clinical team of providers, nurses, and ancillary staff were also called upon to support responses as widespread as Seattle, New York, Texas, and Guam. As we move forward, we continue to meet the readiness requirement of our forces and are restoring healthcare capacity in a new normal environment. We're delivering nearly as much care as we were prior to the onset of the COVID pandemic. However, now we deliver as much of that care in a virtual format as we do face-to-face -face, while maintaining the highest quality care. Further, Madigan personnel continue to actively support force readiness 
with virtual periodic health assessments, performing more than 1,000 PHAs virtually since March. In order to protect our service members and our staff, high volume soldier readiness processing was performed via telehealth. In addition, we harnessed our virtual critical care platform's capabilities to provide support of healthcare delivery to critically ill patients throughout the Pacific Theater. Madigan's efforts have been clearly relevant to the global response from the outset. Our key role as primary investigators in a myriad of COVID-related research, including establishing the efficacy of convalescent plasma and the antiviral agent remdesivir have yielded significant and impactful contributions to the management of this disease. In an effort emblematic of the innovative spirit of this organization, Madigan Otolaryngologists, in a joint effort with Walter Reed, developed the COVID-19 Airway Management Isolation Chamber, or CAMIC, a device that minimizes healthcare workers' exposure to aerosolized particles during airway procedures. This invention, the only officially approved adjunct PPE device authorized by the FDA, has already been used in a variety of high-risk settings around the globe, including in theater during deployment operations. Madigan Army Medical Center was ready at the start of the pandemic. We continue to be a local, regional, and international healthcare leader. Madigan staff remain ready, responsive, and relevant in their approach to the unprecedented demands of this pandemic. Charged to ensure the medical readiness of the force on Joint Base lewis McCord, maintain a ready medical force to respond all while continuing to provide the safest and highest quality care to all of our patients, Madigan answered the call to contain SARS-CoV-2. Our healthcare delivery structures were reformed and reorganized to confront the pandemic. Madigan's responsiveness synchronized with Army Medicine, our Puget Sound Military Health System partners from the Navy and Air Force, and with peer civilian hospitals and public health organizations at the local, state, and federal levels. The COVID-19 response by Madigan demonstrates our commitment to engagement and collaboration, especially during the most uncertain days of the pandemic and the national shutdown earlier this year. We remain relevant and postured for the future with innovations such as virtual medicine, state-of-the-art diagnostics, and novel COVID-19 treatments. This is a new way, a reimagined way, to deliver military medical readiness and exceptional care that we all associate with Madigan in order to meet and overcome the challenges of our time and beyond. Army Medicine, Army Strong.